Right, we're back the day after at the end of the last episode. 20 past seven in the morning. What day? <laughs> on Sunday. Spending his 40th sanding R32, created bumpers. Fair play, mate. Jack, behind the scenes, stayed up till one o'clock last night. Um, to get last week's episode done, I went to bed. <laughs> well, as you can see, we didn't quite make it yeah. with the bumper. He d the blue didn't dry, and Stokes, he tried with a different car when he decided he was going to be a body man. Um, he tried to rush it, and it just didn't work, and it reacted and everything, so we've had to leave it till it dried. Stokes, he got me to uh, mask all the um, rear Valanza, and we got to pull this off, which I'm not too I'm not too happy about because that took me ages exactly to make sure I got that right. We've just got to bite the bullet, put it on the car, and take it to the show as it is. You get everyone to sign it. You yeah, could, couldn't we? <laughs> Anybody got a show off here? On the road. No <laughs> That bumper's on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's raining because we're going to a car show. Yeah. Look, lovely red I mean, hot yesterday yeah, when we were grafting away it's... in the unit. Today, we want to be out. It's in there. What's up, Steve? Making funny noises, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't have the gearbox is gone. Or the clutch is gone. Hear that? It does seem like thrust, the thrust bearing, what pushes the clutch in, that's what the noise it would make. Just have to fucking send it, eh? So, we have made it, but Just the, about. the car is The car, it. yeah, yeah. The gearbox is making major noises. And it's popping out of sixth gear, isn't it? Like? Yes, so when we were coming and we were in sixth, just cruising, didn't want to get too excited. Although all the lads were racing and I was very tempted, <laughs> instantly wished I'd come in with golf. <laughs> See, um, it's great British summertime, and it's no, it's like it's 50 50, it's, it's sunny raining over there. and sunny. Just welcome to England. <laughs> Hopefully, it blows over. Yeah, we've got a uh, we've hired Dan today to keep the cameraman, um, <laughs> to keep the cameraman dry. <laughs> yeah, he's got a it's gonna, co gonna cost us some cup of teas and some some cans of coke. Mm -hmm. We've got the main museum over there, but then they've also got like. I don't know, like, I think it's like Jag. Like Jag's got their own and little it does thing. Say and, Jag yeah. in the window. Yeah. It's got it's got so we're going to go and have a little look in there and see what we can find. Um, so sounds like my dishwasher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our golf sounds like that dish in a minute. So we're going to earn a couple of quid while we're here. <laughs> That's about 20 quid, that is. He get the coffees in in a bit. Look at the next set. What is it? Platinum? Palladium? Palladium? Looks like our unit, but better. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that, it's new, isn't it? Sniff it, Dave. Smell. Yeah. Smells like 80s new. Yeah. 70s, 80s new, like. 38, right? I wonder who's got a nice cylinder head. I can run quicker than that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wicked. Can't think that would be rubbing his crotch on this one. Eh? <laughs> one ton truck. Whatever you do, don't put that into Google. To, um, search it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you and Jack had just done in the toilet? Jack, <laughs> <laughs> Jack. It is. It is man. The wheels are like two pieces, like there's an alloy and then there's like a cover on it. Don't the original was supposed to be a V12, wasn't it? And the real one's a V8, I'm sure it is. Oh, so this is, is what the this, is the this is what they wanted to be. Yeah, because they so yeah. they could race it. Guess how many miles it's done? Four. Nine. Do you reckon that's being pushed? Pushed. That is 80s, that is, yeah. isn't it? It's Just like everything, 
Back to the future. Yeah, everything, mate. Like pedal boxes. It's mad though, because it's only done nine miles. But look at the seat, man. Some people have been, been sat in a lot. Some people it? have been sat in that. Yeah, let's drill these um this chassis number off and we'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll need to do the R52 back bumper. That's if I did the old car. What's the beast? I've been doing the bodywork on this stage. <laughs> <laughs> My last stage of filler. <laughs> With a chrome wrap jack. You know, um our smart car. We had a vision. This is the vision, and this is where the vision come from. It's too bright for the camera. Wow, So mate. if you do want to buy us a beer, we have got a chrome smart car, but it's half chrome. Yeah, we'll stick some quids on this jack though. You half expect to see this up Lady Pool Road, don't you? Should we ask you if you want to sleep wingbacks? Are they the actual wing backs or are they out no, something they out? No, they, they look the retrimmed like. though. Yeah. Like oh, they've got the R though. They look elastic, how we need that weed. Yeah, look at his little like, like out of chrome and all these like, we need all that weed here. See, he hasn't got the uh, steering wheel controls. We need that steering wheel as well. Yeah, we need that. We need his gearbox. <laughs> steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> his back bumper looks in a lot better condition than our back bumper. <laughs> It's not so much the car we're getting at here, but this TT, it's called Beige. Desert Beige. Desert, desert, desert beige, beige, right. And years ago, me and Stokes, he went and brought a 130 PD Mark IV yeah. Golf. And when he was there, he's going, oh, it, it's silver, isn't it? And I, and I was like, I went, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks all right. Instantly drove off, I went, Beige, this is, you know, stuck. <laughs> and he had beige interior, right? Well, it was, yeah, there was it an was, auto it was trader. horrible. Auto Trader ad. You remember the old Auto Trader? And he had this black and white. Yeah. It, no, it weren't, you couldn't really, because it's on a little picture and it looked silver in yeah, the picture. It, and we went down south, didn't we? Yeah, and it all the way, yeah. There, and I was like, it, no, it, it was beige. It was beige. This and literally, Bang Stokesy then. like did a few mods on it and all this as he does, Sounded. lowered it and we went, I think, how many sumps did we go through? About five. About five and sumps. I put the coilovers up then. Yeah, then he put the coilovers up then because he realised that it was just too low. We went to KFC <laughs> the one, hit a pebble and some lads went, I think your car's leaking. <laughs> think it's leaking. The whole oil was on the thi so, on, on the drive through. So basically whoever drove for the drive through just skidded into, into the speaker. The next day the speaker was broke. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is now about the car and how it looks because when mine, well, it wasn't our first track car. No, was we wanted it? a cheap little We wanted track a cheap car. track car. And I don't know we've, where did we get no, this no, TT listen, from? You know, you know my Mark II Golf, Bob. Yeah. I needed a bigger airflow meter. So I bought a complete car. Yeah, he loves right. buying complete cars for one part. So I bought the car for 500 quid, and I was like, do you know what, yeah. it runs and drives all right. It's too good to bust And up. it was a 225, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a big So it was car. all right. So we tried to do something like this, but we literally did it with wood. <laughs> yeah. We made, I made this split out, <laughs> yeah. and it come out to like here. You could like stand on yeah, it. Yeah, you could stand on but it. But I had it jacked We up. had a spoiler, like that. Yeah. We had a rear diffuser. We took it to Donington. Uh, it bottomed out yeah. and we lost about four you... parts of the car and we got black flagged. <laughs> because I, when I jacked it up, I put the splitter on, I didn't realise how low it was and the splitter was literally... It, literally, like, it was about that far, <laughs> so we kept bottoming out and when we went to, like, take the splitter off, you couldn't because all the bolts had been shaved off. <laughs> but we managed to sell it for a profit, Incoded, didn't we? Yeah, we sold it. I did with the gear to turn up with the trailer. I yeah, just we, <laughs> we had to, like, we had to, like... He had like that much each side. I cut it off and it was mint. Yeah, he loved yeah, it. Yeah. He loved it. Going, that, that's perfect, mate. Perfect. perfect. <laughs> well, I come prepared. Uh, currently, come prepared. We, we brought Dan, like we coat. said, for the umbrella. Um, it's really fat rain. Fat it's rain like, man. it hurts <laughs> when it hits you. Look how fat it is. You don't know you get that wet rain, the fine rain that gets you soaking. This don't get you soaked. This just hits you hard. Like a water bomb. It is like a water bomb, isn't it? Yeah. I give him, I give him ag about it all the time because obviously I've chose not to go down that path of having kids. 
Oh, well, obviously, Stokes. 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 Oh, you've got a child. <laughs> right. So Stokes. So Stokes has got a son, and I'm his godfather, right? Yeah. And mate, I get to feed my addiction of buying little toy cars for him. Look at that, man, Lancia. That is bad. That is, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you got. If you've got that, you've got to buy that, ain't you? Because you know, it's what. What our rallying starting, ain't it? You got the top. You got the decent front on it. Yeah. yeah. Drop, drop and yeah, and drop obviously, line. later on in life. He's going to have one of these. He's going to be on the manor, isn't he? <laughs> We've all got dream cars. That is my ultimate dream car, you know. If I won the Euros next Tuesday or Friday, first car I go out and buy that. Seriously? That's the price yeah. tag first car I go out and buy. What's the price tag on one of them, Dave? They're 800 down yeah. If I had to choose a car to drive for the rest of my life, that is the car. I know for a fact every day I would get up and be smile about yeah, that car. Yeah, but they always say, don't, don't, meet, anymore, yes. don't meet your No, 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 heroes. don't meet your hero. And they also said, don't buy your dream car because it lets you down. And that is true. And they Because I brought said, a Lancia Delta and I was excited about it. A week later, I've hated it ever since. They also said, don't build a Mark 5 Golf. I think it just stakes it break down. Not with Stoke anyway that knew that it had a gearbox problem. This time next year, lad, will be millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> Could we go uh, back in time, Dave? We need to to make him happy again. <laughs> Fit that power cable, guys. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I didn't think he was going to do that. <laughs> nah, they put a hole in that, so we can't do it. What a surprise for you. We've actually completed the Lotus Colton behind the scenes. And we're pulling in the museum. <laughs> looks nice in one piece, doesn't it? It looks a lot shinier than our one. I will say that. It is nice, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? We need some grills. Get the grills, Dave. Get the uh, budgies. This oh. is about the car as well, and another stupid adventure us three went on when we, we were younger we needed to go to cornwall to get this car yeah so we hired a car a 20 like a 108 or a 208 drive it all the way to cornwall and it was the most unfuel efficient car going because dave was going over the speed limit only just i think i did one and it was to 125 free. all the way there it was it. And we bought it the next day but we stopped in some we went out for a night out stopped in a triple bed Triple, triple bunk, bunk bed, bed hostel. So we was all on the top bunk. We literally, I got, I got literally everybody thrown out of everywhere because I don't know what went on. I was being my usual self, having a laugh and yeah. that, and they didn't, they, them couldn't, they couldn't them, uh, take them, Dave. Yeah, them Cornwallians <laughs> or whatever they're called, couldn't take the it, right? Yeah. Take it, mate. And I, I remember one kid, a, a girl, tried to chuck a drink at me, missed, and got someone behind <laughs> me. Anyway, quickly show the car. <laughs> So, it was a Calibra, I think this is a V6, but I bought a red top one because I was doing a Corsa conversion, I needed, yeah. I needed the gearbox to be daft. Yeah, you needed a gearbox for one, so you thought, ah, oh, I'll break it, and we literally, obviously we had a night out, got on the next day, went round to this bloke's house, and he was, and he was like, you're going to restore it, ain't you, And So it was like, yeah. yeah. I'm going to restore I've it. I've had this since 92. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. He goes, oh, yeah, I've always wanted one. Anyway, we were driving back. It's set, uh, on, fire. It's set on fire. I wrecked the steering wheel. Yeah. Jack wrecked the roof lining. Yeah, um, yeah they've just been dicks. Yeah. So this, this car had a non air, because it's an early car, it was a non airbag steering wheel, which was worth good money. And Dave just went like that. <laughs> and it just all fell apart and wrecked it. Anyway, it was a red Calibra. 16 valve, now it's probably worth a lot of money. Yeah. I think I paid like 500 quid for it. You didn't pay much for but it. But we had a real good laugh going We did have a real good laugh going to get it, and while we were there, and coming home. I've never got to Cornwall that fast before. <laughs> and do you know what? The Calibra was better on fuel on the way home. Yeah. And the heating didn't work, did yeah, it? Yeah, no, the heating didn't we, work. I'm sure we left home at 8 o'clock on a Friday or something. Yeah, like and got there for like half nine. <laughs> <laughs> it was quick. That's how fast Dave and, and his rental. <laughs> it was really wet as well. Yeah, yeah, I was flat out. I was flat out, right? I thought, what? Stokesy didn't realise until we were nearly in, nearly in Newquay. And he was like, 
we got here fast and we like filled the tank and I was like, yeah, you're probably going to have to put some more. How fast have you been going? <laughs> the thing is, I, I think this is a really good looking car now. No, it is smart. Well, that is a smart car, isn't it? It is, mate. I know it's a box. Yeah, it's real you nice. Had a DVD ship in that, you'd be the man. You'd have been all right, wouldn't you? It seems to change the colour of the sapphire as well. Yeah, yeah. it's got bonnet men. And, and it's four wheel drive, I think. Yeah. And it's got clear indicators. <laughs> and it's got full leather interior. It's got full, what do you mean full leather? It's, got, it's got an interior. And it's got tiger, <laughs> tiger tooth alloys. Oh, you've started a trend off pressing them horns now. I know. No, this, I don't think they did. No, but we've read it, haven't we? It's the last one last off the line. One so we think they did a, in like, just a, a nice colour in one. It's, I think it's like Ford Performance, but I don't know. Yeah. But, um, so it's, a, it's nice though, very nice yeah. colour, but this. This I, is. I've this. got a feel, feeling that this is like an Escort cosy colour. Do you understand what I mean? Maybe, mate. Ooh. This is it, though, ain't it? So they did two sorts of these, didn't they? They did an Evo, they did an RS200, and then they did an Evo one, didn't they? Which had the engine was a bit. Has Mark McCann got two of these? No, I think so. He's got a rally one and a non rally one. Yeah. He's a right, isn't he? Look at that external waste Sniff it. Mate, that's. <laughs> Sniff it. <laughs> Boom. Sniff it, Jack. Stoke, sniff it. Put your nose in there. Sniff so. it. Go on. Knew this is sniff it. it. I'll get stuck in there. I'll put it through this water then. <laughs> Why did they even think to build this car? Oh, Dave, you can have the four badges coming off. Because at the time. Bad. Don't. If you tell that four badge, tell me now, that, that, that's 20 grand that is. So, some of you may have noticed we have put a private reg on her. Looking good, mate. And it, we is, haven't it is ours. Yes, we haven't mentioned it before because I might have just had some plates made and put on the car. <laughs> but we feel like it deserves its own reg yeah. and everybody's going to know it's a one wagon. <laughs> so it's R32, one wag. That's a wrap for today. Everyone's gone uh, home. Everyone's gone home. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we feel like it may be, if the weather was better this morning, it would have been definitely a lot, lot more busy. Yeah. But I've had a good day. Yeah, it's got us out this morning this afternoon um we've had a chat with some people that recognized us we spoke to other people about the car ice I'm, cream man he uh, knows about us yeah i'm asking how much he's selling ice creams for i might get one <laughs> might get a van <laughs> so this might not be the end of the episode because we've got yes. to try and get this home now. We're gonna yes. attempt to drive so it. gearbox we're pretty sure it's done so we've got now an hour's journey home yeah and we're gonna risk it our mate Dan, who we hired for the umbrella, he's going to follow us. <laughs> and then we're he, going to hire him for a taxi. Yeah, we're home. going to hire him for a taxi, but look, this might be the end. It might not. We'll let you know whether we end up in the pub or at the side of the motorway. <laughs> so follow, like. No, like, comment, follow and subscribe. That's it, Dave. And we'll see you in about Pray half an us. hour. <laughs> Just see if it starts. He like gripped then. Gripped? No, he yeah. does that. Like he, the batteries a bit. No, no, no. Like the car jolted. He don't sound good, mate. He don't. Why is it making noises and we ain't even in gear? Right then. Pray for Let's us. Let's go. Oh. So. We made it back. We're back at HQ. We made it back. But there's definitely something different to when we left. If you can all get in the comments and let us know what you think it is. So it's the engine. Oh, Stokes normally fixes stuff by revving it out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey! Fixed it. Frost bearing that in. Tell us in the comments what is it? Oh, goes in. It's so no. Yeah. That's a bit fruity, that did it. It's the thrust bearing.